All right, check. We're uh, on our first cross country here. Got uh, the navigation systems up and running. So I brought the map in over here. We got our what they're calling the VMS page or engine and monitor page over here. And we got a flight plan in. That's this this map is linked to the GPS. I entered my flight plan in here. You see right here's the plan. We took off out of TFFG, which is over there by where you were flying. Uh, flew over this uh, airport, and then we're in route to uh, TISX. We we'll go map. Uh, got weather radar on so we got weather showing up here you see it right there which is right here on this one uh, we see it right there this one doesn't show it so <clears throat> this thing is so cool all these little apps in here that you can use so I uh, purchased this one here it's called uh, Sky for Sim it's got a whole bunch of features on it get back to it here there we go we click this one here and you got tons of features in it so this is where you can come in and do missions as well with NeoFly, which I do own that, as well as the default missions you can do with the uh, High Performance Group, which is the helicopter designer. Also, this one acts as when uh, I'm flying air traffic control flights. Uh, it's got the uh, notifications window, so everything that's said back and forth is text it out where I can read it keep up with numbers this over here is a flight planner this is called a uh, navigraph it's coupled with sim brief we briefly touched on that the other day but I can also create a flight plan more designed for the helicopter flight I can bring in my charts and uh, all that I just goes so we're going to TISX so we'll go airports we'll do a search here real quick T I S X enter that and then uh, we can come over here and get all the airport information we want uh, any charts there's no arrivals uh, it's got these approaches uh, we can go weather the uh, no atus we do have weather here uh, winds 320 at 6 knots visibility 6 miles cloud scattered at 2000 broken at 4000 showers in the vicinity ceiling 4000 feet AGL uh, see, we can also go information, let's see, charts, reference. So it's not going to bring, but anyway, we can bring airport charts in and then overlay them. So what we can do, I'll show you, overlay the select, uh, we can pin this. Okay, so it's not in a actual uh, flight, but what we can do is just click this one, and it puts it on a, it layers it in, and there's your approach template. This is us right here. So if you're flying the approach, and then you have the ability to uh, overlay complete chart or bring it in where it's see-through more or less really cool so like I say I'm, I'm on auto, autopilot uh, I took off did a little hand flying got it on course uh, 
I made some adjustments to the sensitivities of everything just trying to see if I like it so far it's okay so when you come back over to fly it we'll get you back in get you uh, comfortable again and then uh, when you're ready on your next steps navigation hopefully we'll see you coming up soon right, finished our cross country coming into land here at St. Croix flying by hand you can honestly say I don't think I've ever been to this airport I don't think it's going to be a real spectacular uh, airport take what we get Quite a few turbulence coming over. Airport side. So standard approach into an airport is overfly, circle, look for the wind direction and any obstacles. Look for a place to sit down that looks good to us. Of course we're not doing any air traffic control flying. You can see the wind's pushing us. Right now it's at about my two o'clock. We'll want to kind of steer oh, about 320 into the wind for landing. Looks like the main buildup's over here on the left side of the runway. There's only one runway. Got an apron here, doesn't look too bad. Uh, good for fixed wing. <coughs> Alright, we're gonna start flying the helicopter. Possible helipad right down there. Pretty good, right by the fuel. Locate a wind sock. I already kind of know the direction of the wind. Got a tire up here. I kind of like that deal back by the uh, fuel. Yeah, uh, we'll go there. Uh, bring the bad boy around. That wind's gonna be fun. should be off to my left so I've made a massive anti-torque pedal adjustment we'll see how it fix me on my critical handling here All right, we're showing wind at about 830 you see it's pushing me to the right Come in, nose into it. Got 
got to get on those pedals a little bit harder to make this spoon come around. I'm going to hand fly this, no auto hover. Stand by on the uh, trim release. He's into it, but we'll clip that building. Clear of it. Handles really well. Uh, I think we got it. Clear left, clear right. Looks good. Eyes up. Ground effect. I don't know why that popped up. Uh, parking brakes on. Okay, then we're going to ease down the collective. This one will pop a wheelie. We get down there about the area where you taxi. Keep it safe. Oh, crash me. All right. 